Lovely hearties, a very good evening to you. It's just me, as Scotty McClue, and the time is 23 minutes past nine on Wednesday evening, Wednesday, the 1st of June, the glorious 1st of June 2022. How lovely to have you with us, and welcome, 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 I say. Just a quick random pop-up just to see what's been happening with you. I think that's very, very important. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that Scotty McClue is live and we will get you on and see what is what. That's always very, very important. So there you have it. Now you know what is what. Now you know what matters. That's what I would say to you. Well, I think we know what matters anyway. And do come and give us your chat. That's always a good thing as well. Let us know what you're doing for the Queen's Jubilee. Are you having a street party to celebrate Her Majesty 70 years on the throne of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland? Did you do on the first of the month? Looking forward to celebrating the Jubilee tomorrow. Absolutely, Chris. And I think we'll have a full and busy day tomorrow for the Jubilee. No doubt about it. Fantastic. So lovely to have you all with us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, first lord of the internet, the one stop broadcaster. Hashtag Floatai. All in uppercase. Scotty, hello. And dinky do. Kareem, how lovely to have you with us. Dinky do. Kareem, I've uh, opened up the lines. If you wanted to come and have a wee chat with us, you'd be very, very welcome. I'll just see everything's opened up. Yep, we seem to be fine there. So do come and give us a call and let's hear your wonderful chat. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Thank you, Scotty. Scotty, I can't hear you again. I'll stay on the line. Hang on. Yes, hang on. Just stay on. I'll stay on the line. Stay on the line. Go nowhere till we get this sorted. I can see what it is. There we are. Still can't hear you, Scotty. I'll stay on the line. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Wonderful stuff. There we are. Now, can you hear me now? I can hear you now, Scotty. I need to see if I can sort this, Kareem. It just suddenly went like that. So if it suddenly went like that, we must be able to sort it, you know what I mean? Yes, yes. No, no, it's back of them ones, back of them ones. Well, I think it's just the first call. So I think we need to see if there's a way we can unmute that, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. I shall, I shall have a look at that. There'll be an instruction that says mute on start-up or something, you know? Yeah, something, uh, something under the nose, I know. Totally. Something right oh, Scotty, under the nose, yes. we? we? are wonderful, Kareem, and I got your uh, social media posts about people yes. uh, putting up posters against the Queen. Well, I, I read that earlier on, and I just thought I need to add you into that, Scotty, because yes. it goes everything against what you've spoke about yes. on the show. Yes. Um, it's about making Queen Elizabeth the last of the, the, the monarchy, and yes. it, the amount of comments are just it's the brainwashed, so they are. They're just really They're absolutely silly. brainwashed. I mean, there is no way that's ever going to happen mm-hmm. because they're forgetting what they're effectively saying. If it was if the show was in America, they'd be saying, Let's let's bum the stars and stripes. That's what they would be saying. You know, it's it's the same thing. I mean, the crown is going nowhere. And if they're true nationalists, they'll start backing the monarchy pronto. Well, I think that the, the problem I think is there's a lot of people that are just, as I said, not educating themselves. Okay, you may not like the monarchy, but at the end of the day, they are who they are. They do stuff. They contribute a lot to society, and they bring a lot of money into society. Now, a lot, and you've said this as well, Scotty. All, all the, the celebrations, this, that, they should be feeding the poor. Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, they're the royalists. Yeah. The royals, sorry, they bring so much money in, in terms of tourism. Well, it is feeding the, the poor. I mean, the money is going direct to the exchequer. I think she gives us something like, is it 80% of her income? I can't remember, but it's all going to the exchequer and the politicians need to feed the poor. If you had no monarchy, don't kid yourself, there would be no poor people. You know, I mean, say for instance, there was no monarchy tonight. Does that mean the food banks could all close? No, no. You see? 
Uh, and there's talk, and I'm quite disappointed with the, and I will say it, the Scottish Greens. Yes. Um, because they did walk out, there was some type of celebration, and they just, there was no representation. Well, you see, that, 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 that just respect. looks bad. Mm-hmm. That just yeah. looks bad. It looks tiny, it looks petty, it looks ill informed. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. Um, but it's it's the way things are going and there was a poll today, Scotty, um, and I had to laugh at it. That I, I really don't know. I really scratch my head sometimes when I, when I look at Scotland because it's sitting neck and neck, 50%, 50% yeah. for yes and no. And I really don't know what else Westminster can do to the people of Scotland with all, we don't need to go into but all the stuff that's been in the press for yes. months upon months upon months yes. and people here in Scotland still want to be a part of that. Still what we need, they don't happy. necessarily want to be a part of it but they are ingrained with the monarchy and with uh-huh. the concept of uh, if there's no union they could lose the monarchy and it's the absolute key, I cannot stress this enough the second yeah. Every Scottish nationalist backs the monarchy 100%. You will see a huge difference in that vote. I think this should be an opportunity this weekend for yes. the Jubilee in terms of, as Ian Blackford said in the past, the monarchy is going nowhere. Yes. That has to be repeated, that has to be respected, and that has to be put across to people. Now, there might be people there think, well, we want to vote, we're not happy. It's a small percentage. I, I, I don't agree with that. I think, why Why would they want to vote and throw away something that is... Well, you know, I, the, I think so what they need the to do, Karim, is the nationalists need to take a political gamble and appear you know, very, very supportive of the Queen and the Crown. And if they do that, their stock will go shooting up. Uh, yeah, no. I, I, the 20 million has been put aside, and that was just announced the other day for the referendum next year. So there's still a lot of people saying, oh, it's not going to go ahead. But if they're putting money by and it's the engagement and the talking starts now, there's your first question, Scotty. The monarchy is going nowhere. It shouldn't be up for debate. It should yeah. not be a referendum. And it if will that, not be a if republic. that gets answered, because this concept of a republic, why would you want a headless chicken? What is the benefit of a republic? No benefit at all. I mean, you ask the people of Ireland. I mean, they're uh, sitting there, but do you know what I mean? It's not, you know, Ireland is very much part of Europe. So they've got a big boss in Europe and they've got yeah. a political boss. They've got, and they've got a president. You know uh, what I'm saying? Right. But they've still got that hierarchy there. Mm-hmm. And I think it's very important. And it's still not settled after 100 years. I mean, there's a lot of argy-bargy going on now. I actually did a, a video on TikTok and on YouTube last week to say, should Ireland start to make a choice? Well, I, I think that definitely the Sinn Féin has made it very clear that there will be a referendum within the next five years or so. Um, and I think if they're smart, they will look at what's happened with the Scottish one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, back in the day and what's going to happen now if next year this referendum goes ahead all the dirty new tricks that's yeah. going to be used for them because everything that's been used here will just be the exact well, same you see it's interesting what we need to find out here Kareem and this is pivotal yeah. Yeah. Scotland we know is worth an absolute fortune to Westminster so that's the reason Westminster won't let it go, because they want to keep it as a cash cow, and they want to yeah. keep milking that cash cow, and they want yeah. to take our income and give us back our pocket money. Now, I suspect the situation in Northern Ireland is different. How much does Northern Ireland bring into Westminster, and how much does it cost Westminster? You see? And that was, if we start to know that, then we will yeah. know if Westminster wants to hang on to Northern Ireland or not. And if Northern Ireland wants to hang on to Westminster. Wouldn't it be interesting that if Scotland voted yes next year, 
and then they're obviously they're losing their biggest cash cow. They won't want to hang on to Northern Ireland pumping billions over there and getting nothing back in return. That's the whole thing, you see. What has Northern Ireland got 